Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas 18. Can you believe 18? We are seven days away from Christmas. Oh, you guys ready? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to my home, and welcome to Vlogmas day number 18. I tell you, if I wasn't doing these videos every day and having to remember what day it was and looking at these dates, I would never believe 18 days, we've got seven days to go to Christmas. I'm not ready, are you guys ready? But you know, you just do what you can. Nothing's ever going to go smooth in my life anyway that's never worked that way. So you just do what you can, plan, hope for the best, and uh, enjoy whatever happens. That's how, I, that's how I fly. So anyway, I hope everyone is having a fabulous, fabulous day. And today is also hashtag plan with me Monday 23. And I'm so excited I got into this collab late, but I'm so excited that I did. It's an open collab. It is free for anyone who wants to participate. And again, you can use a ready-made planner. You can use a chalkboard. You can use a computer. You can just grab a piece of paper or a notepad or just a regular calendar to write on it. Some people do it for meal planning or their work schedules or their children's activities or doctor schedules, just anything that you need to maybe plan out, maybe help organize yourself. Maybe you want to do um, every other week on, on a certain day, you want to make sure you clean the bathrooms or, you know, let's clean the refrigerator out. Yeah, that's a hard one. Or, you know, you can always just write it down and just try to stick to your plan. doesn't have to be perfect, but at least you can say you tried, right? Alrighty, so for the hashtag, plan with me, Monday, 23. If you do want to participate, they post on Mondays. I'm sure it's not a hard and fast rule. I alternate between the color and create and the plan with me Monday since they're both Mondays. I just kind of switch them around when I can. Use that hashtag. Plan, hashtag plan with me Monday 23 I know I've been saying that a lot and thank our lovely lovely hostess Lene um, just uh, thank our hostess and um, her channel is fashionably 50 something and beyond so just use those in your title and your description and just feel free to join in anytime check out everybody that's in that collab and just maybe get some ideas on what will help you kind of organize your life or organize your children's lives or just have a little bit of fun having some when someone says what did you do this week instead of hmm I don't know yeah I did all this yeah you might be amazed when you write it all down what you do so I use two different planners I use a wellness journal that I started uh, in January and I also do a main planner that I use for like my YouTube videos and work schedules things like that just have a lot of fun with it but before we turn the camera down and do that, we'll just go over the Advent items. So I haven't, I don't know if I've worn this hat this year, but it's on just a little headband so you can kind of move it around. And I'm wearing kind of like an elf costume. So I thought the little Santa hat would be appropriate. Um, rings. So I've got this Christmas ring from Timu. That is a Heidi Dell's ring that I got on Home Shopping Network. My nails are really, really, really a mess. I have got two nails left and this one is uh it's broken right here i want to put some tape on it so it can get up a little bit higher before it rips off i hate it when it rips that low because it just hurts i know i knew that was going to happen so anyway the dress that i'm wearing i think i got this from walmart a couple of years ago it's a nice stretchy material we got a fake belt right here with the gold buckle looks like we've got a sweetheart neckline we've got some candy cane stripes and all these kind of designs on the bottom and again wicked wicked stretchy just over the head and you are ready to go the glossy box 18 i'm excited to get this one because i i don't think i have any i think i put them in my use or giveaway pile whichever happened first yeah i haven't got to the bottom of that yet but we got this authentic beauty concept and it is a dry shampoo so I'm excited to try this. It's a nice travel size. So if you wanted to travel, go camping, things like that. 
the Waka shortbread cookie of the day is this little heart-shaped one. These are really, really good. I would definitely look for that again next year. This little bite of chocolate heaven that I got from Just Janet. It's a nice, thick, chunky milk chocolate that just, to die for, it just melts, melts in your mouth. And this was from an advent calendar that Just Janet sent that it was a nutcracker design. So that was really, really fun. The wine for my sip and savor advent calendar is a Chardonnay from Lodi, California. Yeah, you see a close-up of those nails. I know, they're a mess. So, yeah, that's why I don't usually wear nail polish. And that was with top coats, too. It did not stay on me, but maybe I need vitamins. All right, so let's do this. I kind of pre-opened it so you didn't have to see me struggle. We've got a Santa wine glass. I think I'll do the green today. And I hope everybody's Monday is going great. Whatever plans you've had, if you've got company coming over and you are going crazy cooking, cleaning, decorating, and trying to work, good luck. I feel your pain. If you are lucky enough and you have it off, but you're not really off because maybe you're traveling, so you're packing. You're packing for yourself. You're packing for your family. You've got gifts and things to pack as well, whether you're flying on or driving. Cheers. Good luck. Everybody get there safely. And remember, it doesn't have to go smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just show up. Have a good time. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm. This is a nice, creamy, buttery Chardonnay. A little tart back here. I believe it's probably got a little bit of lemon or a lemon zest in here. I'm tasting pear. I'm tasting apple. And again, just really, really buttery smooth. A little dry, but not too bad. And yeah, it's just a nice, smooth glass of wine. So anyway, I hope everyone goes out, enjoys the rest of the week. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. Be happy. Be kind. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And I can't wait to see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Alrighty, and starting off with my wellness journal. And this, again, is for the week of Monday, December 4th, going through Sunday, December 10th. For my work week, I worked 62 hours. On my under-desk elliptical, I had done 29,062 steps. I had pedaled for 9.25 hours. Uh, the miles that I did on the elliptical was 11.61, and for my Fitbit steps, I did 17,664. Alrighty, so I am back with my main planner, and again, I use the Happy Planner, and this is the big horizontal style, and it's the week starting Monday, December 4th, going through Sunday, December 10th. And to start the work week, I needed to redo all my videos that I did on Sunday night, so it kind of threw my schedule off. I had worked till 8.30. I was able to redo um, Vlogmas number four on Sunday night, The Color and Create With Us, You Rock Art. So I did get that edited, and I got that uploaded for Monday. And then I also had to uh, redo my video for Timu Tuesday, which was Vlogmas number five. So I did get that videoed. I was editing it, and while I was getting it uploaded, I got to work on YouTube for about two hours. On to Tuesday. So I worked till eight o'clock. I did get the Timu Tuesday, Vlogmas number five, uploaded, and I videoed and edited my Vlogmas number six, which was an easy one. It was just Wicked Fast Wednesday. So other than just showing my outfits in the advent calendar, so that one went pretty quick. And I didn't mark it, but I was able to work on YouTube for about three hours. On to Wednesday, I worked till eight o'clock again. So just a kind of short week, only working, uh, you know, 12 hour days. But anyway, I had got the Vlogmas number six uploaded and I videoed and got Vlogmas number seven uploaded. I worked on the tree for a little bit. I had a free pizza that I got an email, got my uh, free pizza coupon or 
whatever was about to expire. So for lunch, I ordered a my free pizza. It was trash and recycled, so I got those out and I did my I worked on YouTube for about four hours. On to Thursday, another short day, only 12 hours. I was able to get Vlogmas number seven uploaded, so that was the hashtag plan with me Monday 23 so I got that uploaded I did a face mask while that was uploading I worked on the tree a little bit more I've just been doing a little bit in between doing some videos and commenting I'll maybe comment on three three of my comments on a video and then I'll go into whoever I'm subscribed to that did the comments and then I'll do theirs and then I put a few decorations on the tree and that's how I've been doing my main tree this year and um, I oh I changed my wax uh, for my Scentsy wax warmers and I did Pretty in Plaid which is a discontinued one which I really love it's one of the stronger ones I absolutely love that scent and I had it mixed with Arctic Kiss so I really really love those ones I worked on YouTube for about four hours and I was really discouraged because you know I had those computer issues over the weekend where I did an upload an automatic upload and my computer won't won't reboot that's my home laptop but for my work files oh my gosh I have been working on this spreadsheet and I've got different spreadsheets that kind of go into it I've created macros I started with a company in 98 and before then the people that owned the company before didn't have computers everything was done by hand and typewriters and things like that so they didn't have any history anywhere so one of the things that when I went there was they got some computers um, I didn't have so accounting software yet I was doing accounting so I did all my invoicing and purchase orders and things like that in publisher yeah that was fun and then I started this worksheet and I went back through the old files that I could find from like 1982. So it's got all the customers in there, the machines they bought, the controls when they bought it, how much the machine listed for, what we gave them off our discount, what the salesman made, what we made, and just all this stuff, all the options, everything. I've got it all, all on the computer that I put on there from 1982. And of course it's got everything on there. <laughs> the history so I did have a password protected so now I don't do the accounting there's an accountant that does that so she's got my files because I've got cash flow because sometimes you know we might do a million dollar machine but it's not going to be delivered for 10 months now the customer wants a runoff so they may not sign off on that machine for another six months from what I'm looking at the prints and how long I think that runoff is going to take before they approve it so I've got the cash flow on that too and when we can expect to get paid so they can kind of do their planning the accounting can kind of do our thing and one of the owners has it so we're the only three that have it so the accountant hired a, an assistant and just kind of wanted to show her different things that that I do and what other people do in the company and this is like one aspect of my job is that and not sure which one did it but they deleted that file didn't tell me and I didn't find out the next day until they deleted that file I absolutely was in tears <laughs> I, I kid you not I was in tears I've been working on that every day I do something on it since I started in 98 and they did have to hire an IT person. I mean, we do do backups and things like that, but it, because it's encrypted or whatever, it took them three days to get it back. But So now I've got a new password, and I'm not giving it out to them. I don't care if they're the owner. If they can fire me. Nobody else is getting my password until they fire me or I retire, whatever comes first. Not going to happen to me again. All righty, so that's how my Thursday went. On to Friday. Work till 9.30 and I uploaded my Vlogmas number 8 and I had to send in my paperwork for the week. I worked on, uh, I got my Christmas cards in the week before but I didn't sign them so I signed my Christmas cards. I, I had printed labels for everyone that I was signing them out for so I got them on the envelopes and got the stamps on them and so I could get them out. I think I walked out of the house at 5 o'clock in the morning to put them in my mailbox so they would get picked up on Saturday. Alrighty, so on to Saturday. So again, I mailed out those Christmas cards. I had videoed um, my number 9, which was my Macy's Beauty Box. Uh, Vlogmas number 10 was the Fit Fun. 
and number 11 I did the uh, my planner update and I worked on YouTube for 10 hours and uh, while I was doing it I got the vlogmas number 9 edited and I got that uploaded on to Sunday so I had got edited and uploaded the vlogmas number 10 the winter fab fit fun I put up the white Christmas tree in my bedroom with the uh, black decorations. I had videoed Timu number 37, and I, um, I finished my color page so I could get that videoed and updated, and I edited Timu, and I worked on YouTube for about 10 hours. The pictures here are just all the thumbnails that I had during the week, except down at the bottom here. I've got the very first picture Sabrina had taken the uh, jelly beans to for their first Christmas. And I've got the one that they just did this year for 2023, sitting, well, they're sitting next to Santa, can't quite fit on his lap with the two of them anymore. And then this was a picture, I think they were probably three years old, and Sabrina had taken them for some pictures, and I just love this one where they're sitting in the uh, decoration. So anyway, that is how my week went. And again, this is the plan with me Monday. It's an open collab that is free for everyone to join. Our hostess is the fabulous Lene. I hope that you check her out, fashionably 50-something and beyond. Um, they do this collab. They try to post it. They do theirs on Monday. I kind of go back and forth between uploading another collab that I'm in on Monday and then fitting this in during the week. And again, anyone is free to join us. Any type of planner that you have, whether you do a handwritten one or you just use a regular calendar or a notepad, maybe you do yours on your computer, any type of planner that you have, you're free to just kind of show us what you do and how you organize yourself. And just when you do it, just use that hashtag, Plan With Me Monday 23, and be sure to join our hostess, the fabulous Lene from Fashionably 50 Something and Beyond. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in spending some time with me i hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous fabulous week take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys so much and we will see you in our next video